We're very interested, as are as are uh, other people, in a drug called rusfritide. Rusfritide uh, is a drug that affects iron metabolism, and as I mentioned earlier, um, <clears throat> the treatment initially that everybody agrees in, you know, patients with polycythemia have too much blood, and that certainly leads to thrombosis because the blood, when we have too much blood, leads to higher blood viscosity. And that leads to thrombosis. And there's no question about that. Everyone agrees to that. Everyone also agrees that we have to reduce the blood volume. And in men, that is an adequate level initially of 45, which corresponds to a red blood cell count. We like to follow the red blood cell count as well, down to about 5 million. And in women, because, because of the androgenic difference between sexes, the women t always run a lower count than men. We like the hematocrit to be around 42, which translates to a red count of about 4.5 million. What, what is the argument is what happens next? And as I mentioned, there are still hematologists that we believe incorrectly for bottomized only patients as a means of definitive way of keeping the hematocrit at the, the levels I just mentioned we use interferon because it affects the stem cell. And I should mention that we should credit Ian Mullally from Dana Farmer in Boston for first discovering this. Uh, others uh, use the mild suppressive drug, hydroxyurea. But in all cases, most patients, the great majority of patients require maintenance phlebotomy at least during the first year or two of cytoreductive treatment. During that time, they become very iron deficient, and as I mentioned, they develop symptoms of iron deficiency. Rusfritide, which is a hepcidin analog, <clears throat> affects iron metabolism and re reduces and even eliminates the need for physical phlebotomy. This is a drug that is given every three weeks uh, subcutaneously. Uh, uh, and uh, so far, or intramuscularly, or, and so far in phase two trials has had very, very interesting results. We at Cornell have worked with it, as many others in the United States, uh, and it's now undergoing phase three studies. It's a drug that really should be <clears throat> carefully watched because I think it will supplement the use of uh, those drugs like interferon, which specifically affects stem cell. This affects iron metabolism. So maybe the combination of both will really be a treatment of choice in the immediate future. Not so not so far away, I might add, because that makes good sense. You got a drug like rustratide that can be given every three weeks and interferon every two to four weeks. That's pretty good treatment for a patient compared to what we're doing now.